My name is Sam Vatnir. I'm the author of Malignant Self-Love, Narcissism Revisited, and other books about personality disorders. I have spent the past few years developing a new treatment modality, a new therapy. It is geared and intended to treat mainly people with Cluster B personality disorders, with emphasis on narcissists and psychopaths, people who have been diagnosed with narcissistic personality disorder and antisocial personality disorder. It seems to be effective with both these personality disorders as well as with certain types of mood disorders, especially extended dysthymia and major depressive episodes. I dubbed this new treatment modality cold therapy. Cold as opposed to warm or hot. Cold therapy is built upon one observation and one major technique. The observation is that it is a mistake to try to treat narcissists and to a lesser extent psychopaths as adults. It is a mistake to use tools and instruments from the arsenal of therapies which are geared to deal mainly with adults, most notably cognitive behavioral therapy. Both narcissists, and again to a lesser extent psychopaths, are the outcome of dysfunctional attachment. Attachment disorder. Problems with early childhood attachment, owing to early childhood abuse, a type of trauma, or the violation and breaching of the child's emerging boundaries as an individual by the parents. So we are talking about situations of arrested development. Narcissists are children, psychodynamically speaking. Because they are children, Call therapy makes use of tools and instruments, techniques and tactics which are common in child psychology rather than adult psychology. So this is the first observation. Now the technique at the core of call therapy is that call therapy seeks to recreate, regenerate, rebuild or reboot the environment conducive to the replication of original childhood traumas. In other words, cold therapy is about re-traumatization. It is intended to allow the client to resolve early childhood conflicts, to cope with early childhood pain, and in a way to reverse the pernicious outcomes of early childhood abuse and trauma by going through the very same experiences again as an adult. As an adult, the client or the patient is much better equipped to deal with many of the issues which, when he was a child, looked insurmountable. And so, re-traumatization is at the core of cold therapy, but to re-traumatize we should create an environment which is not, not a holding environment, not a safe environment, not an empathic, emotion-filled, warm, welcoming environment. Because in these kinds of environments, safe, empathic, holding environments, it is not possible to genuinely experience traumas, except perhaps on the abstract intellectual level. But re-traumatization, and especially cold therapy re-traumatization, has to be emotional, has to be deep, has to be all-pervasive, has to affect the client exactly as it had affected him when he had, was a child. So we need to create a similar environment, which is essentially hostile, dangerous, frightening, ominous, cold therapy. It's a cold environment, a cold space, where the client 
enters and knows and anticipates trauma and abuse. Only he is given the tools or already possesses the tools as an adult to cope with these issues, resolve the conflicts, and emerge, emerge the other end of the cold therapy space, healed, changed, if not unscathed. So these are the core concepts of cold therapy. Now, I'm going to have the first ever certification seminar for cold therapy in Vienna sometime around April or May. If you as a therapist, a psychologist, a mental health practitioner, if you are interested to attend, please write to me. Go down to the description under the video where you will find relevant links and email addresses where you can register with me. At this stage, no payment is required, just an expression of interest. You will be put on a mailing list and we will keep you updated with the progress of the certification seminar. The seminar will be held, as I said, in Vienna, Austria. It will be held for a period of three days. It will, the duration is three days. And at the end of which, we will be providing the first certificates, called therapist certificates. But perhaps even more importantly, the idea is to create a cold therapy institute where early childhood trauma and abuse will be studied as the antecedents and leading to certain personality disorders. In other words, the, appro in other words, the approach is, the, the, uh, the perception is that narcissistic personality disorder, for example, is a post-traumatic condition. So the emphasis in the Institute would be on studying trauma and its outcomes, one of which, or major one, is narcissism, pathological narcissism. At any rate, all the participants in the first certification seminar will be given a single share in the Cold Therapy Institute and in effect will have become the founders of this institute as it grows and expands, hopefully, as work is done, studies conducted and published, probably. These people, the first ones to have attended the certification seminar in Vienna, these founders of the Institute will, of course, grow with the Institute. And that's the idea. The idea is to make all of you stakeholders, interested stakeholders. Stakeholders who will both contribute to the growth of the cold therapy, um, shall we say, movement on the one hand, and on the other hand, benefit from it. Now, as I said, the workshop or the seminar the Cold Therapy Certification Seminar, is comprised of three days. In the first day, we will discuss narcissistic personality disorder more generally, typology of personality disorder, comorbidity of personality disorder, and we will discuss other treatment modalities which try valiantly to cope with narcissists in a therapeutic setting, and we will also try to dissect and understand why the overwhelming majority of treatment modalities and therapies fail miserably in affecting any long-term substantial change in, uh, in the narcissistic patient. And then, at the end of the first day, we will have acquired a good um, overview, I hope, of narcissistic personality disorder. And then we will discuss presenting signs and symptoms, problems with the clinical interview, the intake interview, as the narcissist attends therapy, however rarely, diagnosis, prognosis, problems with psychological tests and the interpretation of such tests, narcissistic defenses and narcissistic resistances in the therapeutic setting, possibility of alliancing or contracting with the narcissistic patient, and then setting realistic therapy goals, very specifically. Then, second day, we will focus on the therapist. So the first day is focused on the patient, second day or the client, and the second day is focused on the therapist. Issues of idealization and evaluation cycles to which the therapist is subjected by the narcissistic patient, coping with transference and counter-transference, the therapist's own 
narcissistic defenses provoked by the patient, co-optation and collusion with the patient, and, of course, the therapist as a victim, which they often end up being when they deal with narcissistic patients. Having finalized or finished the overview, we will begin to tackle the rudiments or the path leading to call therapy, how to leverage the false self defense mechanisms and the narcissist's grandiosity for therapeutic goals, how to tackle cognitive deficits, thinking errors, and the narcissist's victim stance, um, the role of medication and placebos in, in therapy, uh, how to deal with confrontation, with persecutory delusions, with narcissistic rage, narcissistic shame, and so on. And then, on the second day, second part of the second day, we begin to study cold therapy, cold therapy techniques. So, the hostile comfort zone, grandiosity reframing, guided imagery, negative iteration, erasure, happiness map, mirroring. I'm just ticking off the various techniques which are exclusive to cold therapy. They don't exist in any other treatment modality or therapy. These 25 techniques have been developed especially for cold therapy, and some of them have proven to be pretty powerful. Escalation, role play, cold therapy type role play, assimilative confabulation, hypervigilant referencing, reparenting, other scoring, and so on and so forth. This is the uh, second day. On the third day, we will simulate cold therapy sessions and simulate cold therapy supervision and we will use advanced techniques such as gamification to introduce the participants in the seminar to the unique uh, aspects of cold therapy and the unprecedented environment that it seeks to create in the therapeutic setting you know, or space and the possible reactions of narcissistic patients and psychopathic patients to the various techniques that you have, we have enumerated before. At the end of this, these three days, you receive certificates and your founding share in the Institute of Cold Therapy. I hope to see you all there. Cold Therapy is a totally new, totally innovative approach to dealing with narcissistic character disturbances, narcissistic personality dimensions and disorders. It has uh, the potential to revolutionize the field of treating narcissists by inducing real and long-lasting healing. It is less effective with psychopaths, but definitely much more effective than anything I know of. And it is surprisingly and totally unexpectedly very effective with mood disorders, especially depressive disorders. So there's a lot to learn, a lot to apply and implement, and we will all be pioneers in a sense. We all don't know enough about cold therapy and about reactions to cold therapy of both clients and practitioners. We are all here to learn together. I will introduce you to the fundamentals, and but the rest of a path the rest of the trajectory and the route, route, route is yours. Looking forward to meeting all of you in Vienna, Austria, in April or May. Again, to register, go to the description under this video and use either the link or my email address uh, to write to me so that I can put your name on a mailing list and update you as things progress. Thank you for your patience. And thank you for your interest.